Now at noon, it's almost back to school for students in Broward County. Teachers and staff getting in the final preps before students head to class tomorrow. Good afternoon. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. This year will be in person learning for everyone in Broward County. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on the preps leading up to the big day tomorrow. Brooke? Hey, Maribel. Well, today, students here in Broward County are getting the chance to swing by and meet their teachers before they're back for real tomorrow morning. But like you mentioned, the big obvious difference from the start of school this year versus last year, this year, students will be back in person for day one. We will see you all bright and early in the morning. Thank you. Manatee Bay Elementary getting ready for tomorrow's first day of school in Broward County. The obvious difference from the 2020 school year, kids will be fully in the building. I am tremendously excited. Library and media specialist Richard Connell says kids fully back in person means they can check out books again. I've been getting emails already from the kids about, uh, did you buy this book over the summer? Over in Miss Jefferson's fifth grade gifted classroom, she's working on the finishing uh, touches, getting ready to welcome 23 students. Oh, I'm just so excited. But she admits in her excitement, she's a little nervous. We have an invisible enemy <laughs> that we can't see. So, you know, when you can see your enemy, you can avoid your enemy. But when you can't see your enemy, you just have to be really careful. When Broward Public School students head back to the classroom tomorrow, they will need to wear a mask. There's also social distancing protocol, frequent cleaning, and steps if a student gets sick. If they're sick, they immediately are sent down to the clinic for an evaluation, uh, and then they're isolated. If they have any kind of COVID symptoms at all, they are, um, we call the, um, the parent, and there's an isolation COVID protocol that we follow. But overall, parents Gladys and Robert said they are ready for their kids, Daniela and Anthony, to get back inside the classroom. So um, we're looking forward to them socializing with their friends, obviously with their masks and being safe. And Maribel, I'm told that if a student does test positive for COVID-19, the school will then go through some contact tracing. As far as masks are concerned, there are some medical exemptions, and students will be allowed to take off their masks when they're eating or if they're outside. I'm live here in Weston. Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News.